Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the place where we talk all things records. Now today I've got a nice few little sort of record finds for you from a record shop that's fairly local to me. It's kind of one of my favourites that I like going to because their prices are just so good. So let's waste no time and get into it. Now there are only two records today, but um, they were both very good finds. Now this one is not a particularly valuable album, but it was only a pound. This is Status Quo's Back to Back and it has the original inner sleeve as well. If I show you there, hopefully you can see that alright. As you can see, it's got a nice and glossy sleeve. There's the track listing. Now I'll get the sleeve out, well, the inner sleeve out rather, and, every, and everything like that. Now this one does need a bit of a clean, but overall it's okay. There's the cool inner sleeve as well. So, because I thought for a pound, it's like basically giving it away. So I picked that up along with one of the more main purchases I've got. This one's just a bit dusty and kind of staticky, which I can clean up. That label might not show up too well, but hopefully, oh, it's upside down there, but hopefully you can see kind of the general idea of it. And their surfaces are clean, well, when I say clean, what I mean is they're not like scratched per se. But I was super happy to get that because I always have a bit of status quo in my collection. Got a few already actually, sort of just down there in that area, but like. If we move on to this one, this was the main one of the day, A Source Full of Secrets by Pink Floyd. Now this isn't an original pressing because that would have been a hell of a lot more money. This is the early 70s 2 box with the gramophone rim text, so from like 1971 to 1973. And it's in awesome condition, at least Fiji Plus. And if I flip it over to the back, of course it's the non-flip back sleeve. Sorry if that's not showing up too good. And here's the text down here which hopefully should show up okay and even the sleeves in like VG condition because it's got just a few minor creases but this is one of the albums I didn't have in my collection now my dad does have the compilation album a nice pair in his collection and it does have this one in it but it's just nice to have the uh, sort of actual album on its own rather than it being in a compilation so here's the label the two box EMI if I can show you that just Hopefully those labels, there we are, they're a bit easier to see these. And I was super happy to get it for 25 quid, all it needed was a quick clean and it was lovely, lovely to listen to. It is a really good album actually, I think, because I've, you know, I've read about it and some people aren't that big fans, but I think really it's a, such a lovely listen all the way through, especially like Remember a Day and that sort of thing. That's a pretty underrated song, in my opinion, from Rick Wright. And if we see here, it's a dash one, dash two, pressing on side two there's dash two down there hopefully you can see that and then side one is dash one might not be the easiest thing to see but as you can see on those surfaces it's so lovely and glossy it's just so nice to get good stuff in my collection so sorry that was a really short video today but i just thought you'd like to see those two cool finds and i'll definitely post more in the future if i ever find some and thank you for watching